ZF Padova è un'azienda italiana parte del gruppo ZF. ZF Padova is an Italian company and part of ZF Group. It specializes in the construction of transmissions, propulsion systems and command and control systems for boats and we have already seen the many applications on many different types of pleasure craft. What we will do today, instead, is to see how ZF Marine products are used on professional workboats, where reliability and durability are even more important. ZF is a multinational technology company with headquarters in Friedrichshafen, Germany. In Italy, there are two production plants, one in Padova and the other in Arco, in the province of Trento. This company has 146,000 employees with approximately 230 locations in 40 different countries all over the world. ZF Marine is a market leader with cutting-edge solutions and products of the highest quality, durability, reliability for the propulsion of any marine unit. We are going to board a boat from the pilots of Port Phillip and to reach it, we decided to sail with a ferry. This ferry from the company Sea Road Ferries will be shuttled between the two ends of the bay in front of Melbourne, carrying passengers and cars, and is equipped with the controls of ZF Marine and with the ZF Marine transmissions. We are on board. These are the pilot boats of Port Phillip. We will have a different experience than usual. We will see the boat in action, which will also help us understand how these vessels have evolved, how they navigate. This, in particular, is a pilot boat built by Hart Marine, just over 18 metres long, equipped with two Cummins engines of 800 horsepower each and ZF transmissions. Even the onboard controls are ZF Marine. Now we'll go out. The conditions will be demanding. So we'll have to get into the cabin and I cannot drive. I'll leave the helm to the captain. Today we're on board the 18 metre pilot launch and this one is only uh, just over 12 months old. It's uh, a launch that's used by Port Phillip Sea Pilots to transfer pilots at the entrance of Port Phillip. And now, as Maurizio, my friend, says all the time, Full throttle. We have reached the ship on high seas. Now it is the most dangerous moment, the most delicate phase, that of the junction. We must make sure to approach the ship, which is proceeding with its course towards the port, and while the ship is flanked, the pilot who will take command of the ship must pass from this boat aboard the merchant ship. It's a very delicate phase. The commands at this time must be fast, but also delicate, precise, because here is a person's life at stake. And the inverter is the most stressed mechanical part in this phase, with continuous insertions of the forward and reverse gears, even at high regimes. The sea is rough. Imagine the concentration of the men who are doing this operation, and also of our cameraman who is leaning to frame this whole phase. It's an operation that happens every day, dozens of times a day. The pilot is very experienced, but every time the sea is different, every time the situation can be different. And look at that, we're not stopping. The difference between the displacement of this ship and this small boat can be a problem. It is necessary that both the captains know exactly what they're doing. OK, the operation is over and we leave the ship and return to the Bay of Melbourne. These are the pilot boats of Port Phillip, but they are built by Hart Marine Shipyard based in Mornington, just south of Melbourne. We 
We've got a pilot boat that's capable of going through all conditions, all weather, uh, rough seas, calm seas. It can roll over. Uh, it's got the ability to self-right. And uh, we're, we're really fortunate we've got a great team here that help us produce this. Well, when you build a great product, you get great interest. And, and that's what's been fantastic for us, is that uh, we, we've been able to work with a great design, a, a great naval architecture firm, and we've been able to bring our technology and I think we've got a great synergy. And, and uh, with engines, gearboxes, ZF gearboxes have been fantastic to us. Uh, we rate them you know, as, as the best in the world. We moved to Dongara on the west coast of Australia and we are on board a fishing boat. These boats are used on the high seas in the Indian Ocean for lobster fishing. Think how reliable they must be, how durable their technical equipment must be. This boat is built by Dongara Marine, a specialist in the construction of lobster boats. But not only lobster boats, also other work boats. It is made of an aluminium hull and fiberglass superstructure, an excellent mix for stability and reliability. I believe this to be the, the largest boat in the world holding capacity for live lobster. So this boat's designed to hold in excess of 6.5 tonne of live lobster. This hull at the limit of 24 metres in length and its equipment can vary according to customer requirements, even two engines of 2,000 or 2,400 horses. The transmission, command and control systems are ZF Marine. The joystick's um, something that we, we chose to put in. As, as well as being a lobster boat, this boat's designed to be involved in other activities, um, demersal scale fishing, uh, catching, catching snapper. So I'm, I'm hoping to use the joystick and the positioning um, to be able to get onto a school of fish and, and make the boat hold, hold station on the school of fish. JMS, iDrift and iAnchor are the functionalities developed by ZF Marine for sport fishing and professional. The JMS joystick offers the most advanced functions dedicated to fishing, such as iAnchor, the electronic anchor that keeps the boat stationary in a determined position, and iDrift, which allows you to set the drift of the hull, meaning the direction and speed of movement of the boat to automatically follow a school of fish. Holdfast has got the 900 horsepower Yanmars coupled to the ZF2000 boxes and Papa G has got the, uh, the V10 MTUs at uh, 1205 horsepower and they're coupled to the ZF2000s as well. In the last 40 years, ZF has become a leader also in mechatronic systems, those systems that require the interaction of mechanics and electronics. There are men and boats that work on the sea every day to protect our safety, for rescue or control operations, and almost always these operations must be quick. ZF has a specific product for fast boats, the C-Rex, a surface propulsion with electronic control, manual and automatic. The system is by far the most efficient for large and fast boats. With C-Rex, you can equip hulls up to 32 metres and engines up to 2,700 horses, and you can reach speeds of 70 knots. We're on the west coast of Australia, just north of Perth, on a ferry that transports passengers between Port Hillary's and Rottnest Islands. So we have this one here, the 35 metre monohull, and we also have a 24 metre catamaran called Voyager. Uh, also has the same ZF gearboxes and the same command and controls. So we haven't had uh, any major problems uh, with the pairing. Um, being a 365 day a year operation, 
and obviously carrying um, the passengers we need, the safety and the reliability. And the uh, ZF gearbox with the Caterpillars is definitely hasn't let us down. The guarantee of service, punctuality, safety of people are essential qualities for a ferry and of course depend on the transmission system, its reliability. Have you ever seen the speed and precision with which the ferries are operated? Thanks to the commands and transmissions here, now perhaps it is clear the importance of these components. On board this ferry, the Sea Flight, of the Rotnest Fast Ferries, we have two Caterpillar engines of 1,320 horsepower each with ZF transmission. We do about a 13 mile run from Hillary's to Rotnest every day and um, we three to four runs a day, return trips every day. So. You're berthing the vessel six to eight times a day and we get a pretty strong sea breeze here in Perth, so 25 knots, you know, manoeuvring the boat and turning the boat. And this boat doesn't have a lot of hole on the water, so it's it's pretty skatey, it's very, you know, it's very wind affected. So you need uh, the reliability in the, um, in the gearboxes and, and from the engines as well. Naturally, to guarantee the safety of those who work at sea, nothing can be left to chance and for this reason, ZF carefully checks the quality of the materials and tests each product 100%. In the Italian factory in Padua, there is a department that carries out the microscopic analysis of the materials to verify the composition of the structure, the possible deformations, the resistance to breaking. What is the reason that led ZF to become an industry leader? The care with which their products are made, starting from the controls of the materials used, the processing with machinery of advanced technology, strict testing, collaboration with users, meaning the construction sites, the engine manufacturers, the pilots, government agencies, shipping companies and fishermen, and not just for maintenance and assistance, but also for the development of products. All this in the nautical and naval sector is very important because the satisfaction of the boaters and professionals, but above all because the safety of boats, ships and people depends precisely on the correct functioning of the onboard systems and their reliability and durability.